Hey YouTube, I uh, just finished a project a couple of weeks ago and it was making core tin uh, rust um, was part of the part of the project and I got asked a few times by people how did I do that and that kind of stuff and it's sort of like I got to thinking I don't do really how-to videos or anything like that at any edutainment videos on this channel and I got thinking maybe we should do a little of that and I thought maybe I'd do a little little uh, demonstration here of how to make steel rust. What we're going to do is we're using the uh, Secret Elixir, a rust accelerant that is talked about pretty readily on the internet. I'll put the recipe, but basically it's mostly hydrogen peroxide. Get this stuff at a place like Target, Walmart, someplace like that. Uh, it should cost you about a dollar. The, the, uh, if you're trying to buy it from someplace like a uh, um, pharmacy, you're going to be paying two, two bucks or so for more for that little bottle. Uh, vinegar, just white, this is distil uh, distilled vinegar, and salt. Now, I'm not entirely certain what the vinegar and the salt do. I have my suspicions. The hydrogen peroxide, uh, think of it as an oxygenated water, like super water or something like that. It's basically, it's basically very similar to water in its chemical com uh, uh, makeup, except it's literally got an extra oxygen molecule and that's what rust is, is it's an oxide of iron and when we spray this up I've already mixed up a bottle of it it's a little spray bottle um, when we mix this up what happens and when we spray it on the metal what happens is the the free that that, that extra oxygen molecule bonds readily with both the carbon and the iron in the steel so when it bonds with the carbon, it just releases this carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide or one of those oxides of carbon. And when it bonds with the iron, it's left with an oxide of iron, which is hopefully red rust. Now, uh, I have played with the vinegar a little bit. I've actually substituted muriatic acid. You know, I actually substituted the vinegar once with the muriatic acid and I ended up with kind of a yellowy rust. So I don't know if that was just circumstantial you know by chance or if there's something to that I don't know you can play around with it if you want but let's go ahead and spray this okay I've brought you out here into the Sun so that we can actually see this reaction take place a little Here's better our magic elixir and we're just going to switch this on here and you can see it takes place immediately look at that we got rusty metal already we gotta turn this to a mist there we go You know it's working because it's fizzing. All right, so we've been looking at this for about 20 minutes, and what I was, remember I said this is basically, I call it a bloom, and this is why, watch. See, it just kinda, it's just a dust, it's right on the top. It's not even really attached, okay? So this is, like I said, it just gives it a, a bump in the right direction. So even after you're done, even once you've done this, you want to avoid handling it for a while until that rust really takes a good bite. What I'm going to do now, though, I think I'm going to, I'm going to get my, I'm going to get a clock out here, and we're going to set up the time lapse, and we're going to do the other side, and we're going to see exactly how long it takes to cover that in rust. And uh, yeah, we're just going to play with this a little. All right.
right, ladies and gentlemen, what did we learn? Well, let's take a look at what we've got. Um, <clears throat> so this is the piece that I just pulled out. I did the time lapse on, what, roughly 15 minutes? We went from uh, bare, clean metal to this, which is a lovely uh, patina on there. This is the cold rolled. I gave it another uh, shot, and you know while this one was working, I shot this one again, and then we hosed it off to show you the resilience of it. And what it did was it, it took the the surface off. And actually, what's interesting is literally this thing. I mean, it's still moist. It, I just let it air dry, and it looks like it's darkened back up with rust. So it uh, even though that rusty bloom came off pretty quick and easy uh, just a little bit of exposure to just regular water rusted it back up pretty quick I gave the A36 piece of angle iron another shot and a couple more shots and it, it's still rusting eventually in time the uh, mill scale will rust away and then this is the A500 the uh, square tubing I gave it a few more shots and it's starting to starting to get a little rustier it's kind of hard to get a good there you go good a little bit of color on it but it's still very powdery so what did we learn well this is the hydrogen peroxide method of oxidizing of rusting steel uh, what are the uh, what are the benefits well it's it's fast it's I mean 15 minutes for a little bit of rust that's, that's pretty quick there is uh, uh, let's see what else that's cheap it's relatively non-toxic. Um, I mean, we're basically using uh, hi uh, medicine. Hydrogen peroxide is used a lot for, you know, uh, as an antiseptic. Uh, you're using uh, vinegar and, you know, basically you're using medicine and food. So vinegar and a little bit of salt. So uh, the downside, uh, if the metal's not prepped, you got to use some pretty uh, strong chemicals to strip the uh, mill scale down. Um, there's no replacement for time. The, the rusty finish is relatively superficial. Um, it, you know, it does give it a it does give it that feel of rusty uh, metal. So obviously, over time, it'll continue to rust and it'll get more and more rusty, more it's and more scaly. Um, of course, with rusty metal, it's going to stain. You saw where it drips and that kind of stuff when you hose it off. It's, so yeah, that's uh, one method of rusting steel. And if you uh, like this video, uh, let me know. I mean, if you want me to do more of these kind of little how-tos or what's-its or anything, if there's something you think I should, if there's something you think I can teach you or show you how to do, let me know. Put it put it in the comments. Uh, if there's something you want me to showcase, let me know. I know I get asked a lot about like the picket twister and uh, the little homemade ring roller I built. I get asked about different things. I do have upcoming, I, I did bring my uh, uh, kiln back out that I was building out of hot water heaters. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna work on that. I, I gotta, it's, it's a mess, but uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope hope we showed something, and like I said, if you if you like it, let me know. If you want something else, if you want some, if you want to see me do something else along these lines, let me know, and uh, I'll work on it. So, till next time, bye.